So you may or may not know, but there are some Power BI reports that you could benefit from. You can use, you know, if you have someone that can, you know, has a Power BI license. But if uh, you don't, you know, it's not too bad. It's uh, you don't actually have to have everybody need Power BI to view the report. You just need the person that's making it to actually uh, have the license. All right. So. I'm going to basically share a ton of reports that you can access on teaching.com. Okay. And when you go to teaching.com, I just made a link that called Power BI Report Samples. Okay. So it's right here. It's going to be here. And, you know, things are going to change, you know, if you're, if this video is old, but it's going to be Power BI Report Samples or somewhere there will be somewhere where it has a link to the uh, list of Power BI report samples, okay? When you click on that, you're given sort of a gallery view of all the reports I've kind of just collected, okay? Each one is not, you know, doesn't take you to the documentation. It actually takes you to the actual sample, okay? You're going to have to figure out where I actually found these, but um, I'll figure out some way to put a link, you know, to the actual source, but most of these are in the app store. Most of them you can find just searching through, you know, GitHub and, you know, putting these words in, but most of them you could probably find. Okay. And yeah, so let me, let's get started. I'm just going to go over some main ones that I think you probably interested. And again, I, uh, I'm in security, so there might be some Power BI reports that you may like that aren't security related and it might be available out there. So again, I'm really just focusing on the security or kind of Azure infrastructure side. Okay. So one report is the continuous optimization Power BI dashboard. This is a cool report. It has a lot of code. It had a lot of revisions. Um, it's on GitHub. Just type in CCO dashboard Azure and it's very popular. Um, there's many different deployment methods. If you have, you know, if you're in government, if you're in another organization, but this is a very cool dashboard. And if, and there's not only one page, it actually has multiple pages. So you want to click on that right arrow and just kind of look at what's, you know, what's, what the advisor recommendations are. You can actually click on these categories, high availability, each one, by clicking on any of these filters, it actually filters the other items, okay? The Azure Security Alert Center, right? So there's some malware events, things that's happening on these servers, right? The Azure Virtual Machine Summary, the Network Security Group, right? So pretty cool report. I'll let you, I'll let you dig into it and just click around. Remember, go to teaching.com and then click on the uh yeah power bi report samples okay so this is one report you can make it doesn't take a lot to build out you have to have power bi desktop you're going to have to load the template you're going to have to authenticate and log in and make sure you log in with credentials that has access to you know have access to get these data right so it's going to do a lot of queries. It may it's going to actually use some log analytics some it's going to use the, I think the graph API, it'll use, I think the management, Azure management API as well. So even if you're looking about, you know, if you're, even if you're interested in just understanding how Power BI queries different areas uh, within the Microsoft ecosystem, this, this would probably be good just to look at how the, uh, the particular query was built, okay, and how they built that. Because a lot of work was done in this and you don't actually have to go figure it out. You can kind of reference off this, okay? That's kind of what I did. The 365 usage analytics, awesome report. You load it from the App Store, okay? So you should go to powerbi.com, load it from the App Store. You'll, you can get this report. This is just giving you a uh, overall usage summary. Yeah, I mean, pretty straightforward. Licensing, um, what's being licensed, the user activity, uh, product usage, what products being consumed. Just a nice little report, and again, all these are templates and you can load the app. And then once you edit it, you can modify it, add more tabs, add more pages. Okay. The Power BI Intune report. This is also from the app store. Just type in Intune. And this is actually a, uh, 
dig into the Intune data. So you're going to actually have to make sure you have the necessary data connection set up. I'm not going to go into that, but you know, there's already instructions on there. But once you get that, you load it up and then you can look at the, this is the sample data set. So you can just look at it, see how they kind of populate the tables. You can, you know, you can actually plot the users uh, via GOIP, right? This is using the uh, Bing mapping service. So you can actually, if you have latitude, longitude, or you have some coordinate, you can plot it on a map here, okay? Again, everything is filterable. So you click on whatever and it's gonna filter those data points, okay? The, another one is cool is the warehouse management dashboard. So um, I actually don't know how he, how the developer made a lot of this stuff. So, um, but pretty cool dashboard just to show you the power of Power BI and the power of Power BI. So let's see, yeah, zones. You can actually look into the zones. Like this is really cool. And he actually has um, a log screen, like, like they have actually have a log screen of the IOT settings being streamed. So I'm thinking about using this later on if I figure out how he did it, <laughs> of streaming maybe some kind of real-time log stream through Power BI. So I just gotta figure out who made this. So if you know, you know, let me know. Or if you know how to do this type of screen, yeah, that would be cool. Uh, I, I might use that later. And then this is actually plotting, you know, where the devices are going and and uh, what what their what their status is. You know, I don't really know what the colors mean. So, but pretty cool dashboard, pretty cool way of knowing, you know, how powerful um, this uh, application is. The S system center operation management alert dashboard. This is a cool dashboard. I think I got this for. I think this is also available on the App Store, the Power BI App Store. So you load it up, you gotta, um, it'll, you have to have the necessary credentials or authorization. But once you load it up, you're given this dashboard with a nice, I like dark mode, so it has a nice view of kind of everything. And um, you know, all the alerts as matching, mapping from the, uh, you know, the system center, okay? SSEM, so if you're, um, again, you're gonna have to set up the data, data connectors or you know, get that data feeding in. But once you get the data feeding in, it should be able to populate this dashboard for you, okay? And again, this one has 25 pages. So a lot of cool pages that's uh, gonna link up with that SSCM, okay? So if you don't know about it, you know, it's just a matter of connecting that data and then populating it so that you can surface you know, whatever's on this report. And let's see, Defender for Endpoint. So there might be a situation where you can actually, you know, our API, you can actually feed a KQL query and the response back is gonna be a JSON, you know, a, a JSON table or JSON. Um, and what you can do with that data is now that could be sort of a table that you reference a Power BI, and then you kind of populate different points. So if you wanna, this is just an example of just looking for miscellaneous events where action type contains anti, which may be antivirus, okay? So an, if the word anti is on the action type, it's gonna show up here. And again, you can filter these and uh, you know filter the report, but just giving you an idea of what you can do with, if you have your own query and you got data coming in, you can populate it here, okay? It's gonna require you to, uh, integrate with the Defender for Endpoint API, but you know the instructions are there. And this is actually gonna be on GitHub, so just search for Defender, GitHub, Power BI, and you should be able to find it, okay? And then I just also included uh, the Defender Threat and Vulnerability Management Report. Um, again, I didn't make these smarter people than me made these awesome dashboards, so. Um, give them credit and you know, give some props because this is awesome stuff. So this is actually linking with the Threat and Vulnerability Management API that's integrated with Defender for Endpoint. We take that data, we, now we populate it here. So now you can actually look at your uh, vulnerability posture. If you don't wanna go to the portal, you want something more customized, the data's there, customize it how you want. You can modify this template and play around with this, okay? 
but it's going to have all kinds of software vulnerabilities. You can sort it however you want. You can present it a different way, right? A lot of way to filter. So just give you an idea on you know, what you can do with Power BI. And I also included some galleries. So if you want to just, you know, you need a theme, right? You, you need a, some sort of starting point, go to the Power BI Community Themes Gallery. People have basically built themes that you can now just go, you visit, you load up. And when you have a theme here, like with this one's called Sim Simplifica, right? So it's like, okay, I like this theme. I like this flow. I like, I like having these buttons on the left side. Like, I like this flow. I like this, I like the setup. And then you just download the report, right? You just download that report into Power BI. And then, um, yeah, that one probably is not available. Bummer. But hopefully the links work and they're sharing the right links uh, for the templates. But, you know, you download these reports. Uh, it should be like a template file, right? And then once you have the template file, you load into Power BI Desktop and then you can customize it. The same goes for data stories and uh, data galleries. Sometimes you might see a particular you know, report in a gallery you might like. And a lot of times the authors um, contribute or have linked their source code so that they could just, you can just open up their report and then um, just change it um, to fit whatever you know, use case you need, you need it for. All right, so that's it. That's the Power BI report sample gallery I kind of I kind of made. Um, and again, I really just populated uh, this. I, I really have a lot of reports that revolve around security and Azure infrastructure. Um, so if you know of any other reports I don't know about, or if you want to share, let me know. And I'll just give you credit or I'll give you kudos or I'll put it on the gallery and other people can use it. So um, trying to make this a, you know, a way that people can just see if they're, you know, if they like the report or if they, you know, if, the, if it's worth time investing to go learn Power BI and, and, and make this type of dashboard. So, you know, after looking at this, you can kind of decide, you know, do I want to spend time making this or is the native interfaces and what I have in secured it on Microsoft.com or whatever interface you're using uh, better than what, you're, what, you, what you can get here, right? Or maybe you're just really good at KQL and you can make your reports with those workbooks. So, so yeah, this is going to be a short video. If you like this content, please click like and subscribe. And thank you for watching this video. Stay safe.